We're here at the AASP Northeast uh, New Jersey Trade Show. We've stopped by to visit with BASF a little bit about what's new with the 90 line in Waterborne. Um, you guys know I started spraying Glazerit a few years back, got into it a little bit more deep with uh, Troitrapania, a little bit of time with Chip Foo, so I'm kind of exploring the products myself. Jim, tell us a little bit about what's going on with 90 line. Well, 90 line is uh, continuing to be a trend leader in the industry, uh, in the BASF uh, product line, if you will. Um, our color match has been right up there with the Glass 55 line is where it's normally been. Um, the color coverage has been increased because of the 90 line being a ultra high solid product. It's got three times the pigmentation and concentration that we normally would have with the uh, 55 line. Uh, painters are finding the transition from going to their solvent 55 line an easy step uh, with the guidance of BSF reps and their technical support and training. Right now, I noticed my experience with spraying it was that it was really easy. I had only sprayed 55, had used it in a few shops, um, had a friend that was um, spraying mostly high ends Ferraris and Lamborghinis, and that was his choice. Yep. Um, and then when I got a chance to mess with the 90 line and practice a little bit, it, it was seamless. Yep. So, so most, lot... most people focus at it as a high end paint system, which is glass, it is on premier line. However, there are collision repair facilities and a lot of insurance company uh, driven body shops that are finding the ease and color match and the time reduction of getting this product on the car and getting it through the paint process, they're making some money on it. They yeah. like what they're seeing. Yeah. Now let's talk about that a little bit because your toners are different. They're a yes, little they thicker, richer, you know, not thicker, but I like to say thicker in the fact that I'm getting a lot more coverage. So if I'm looking at cost per ounce, mm -hmm. initially I think there is a little twinge there, mm -hmm. but the overall spray out is, is actually a cost savings. Well, here again, we stay with the toners, all of our urethane toners. They're not freezer prone and they are concentrated three times. So in reality, they're a, uh, a urethane solvent product, if you want to call it that, because in their natural state, they can be mixed with solvent. So we can use it in our undercoats and our tintable sealers to bring colors and primers in closer to what they should be. Also, when we reduce it and take it temporarily into a water-based stage, we have the capability of only using half of the toners needed to make what we're looking for. In other words, if I'm making a pint of color, Half of that pint is only the toners. The other half is the balancers and the reducers to get it into that water state. Great, so that's stretching my toners. I'm not Absolutely. ordering as frequently as you might be thinking. Absolutely, we've done conversions where people actually have installed it and saying this is lasting a lot longer than I thought it was because the conversion comes over in half liters and liters. Now everybody's getting away from gallon cans and they think, oh my God, I'm gonna be replacing these so more often. But keep in mind, they are concentrated up to three times of what the toner is. When they come out, they actually come out like a ink, uh, if you will, on an ink press. They are very, very viscous products. Mm -hmm. Now I know when I was when I was painting. I loved my mixing rack, yep. I loved agitation, I loved those gallons because that was comfort to me to mix. Yep. Um, but what kind of shelf life or shops can they expect out of those smaller pines with less agitation? Unlimited. Unlimited? Unlimited on the machine, yep. Wow. Unlimited. Once you activate it though and bring it over into its water stage, it does have a 12 month shelf life for you at that point. Okay, but I can order out my toners, keep them in house, and sure. I don't have to worry about trying to only order what I think I'm gonna need based on markets. Absolutely. That's a great benefit to a shop, because when you have Absolutely. that strange one come in, you don't have to wait on toners. Yep, and if there's a problem with a job or not getting it to you or whatnot, here again, you have it on your shelf. It's on a limited lifetime for you. Uh, guys, if you haven't looked at 90 Line for your shop, using it in production, go by the BASF website, check it out, call your local job or distributor, have them come by and give you a test. It's still some of the best stuff I've sprayed, and I love the clears that Glazerit puts out and what they end up doing on show cars. And a bunch of Riddler winners can't be wrong. That's right. So if it's good enough for them, it's going to be good enough for you. So stay tuned to the show. We're going to be back a little bit later. Jim's going to talk to us about the value adds for being a BASF customer, what you get in your shop beyond just what's in your cup.